Earworm is a uh, an, a media company that specializes in web design, but uh, interactive animation. Uh, that includes uh, interactive tutorials, flash cartoons, of course, flash games, um, and we also do mobile content repurposing, which is essentially taking websites and making them contextually relevant uh, for for mobile devices. But essentially, the heart of Earworm is the um, flash animation piece. You know, I didn't necessarily set out to be an animator. Um, I wanted to create stories, um, mainly comic books, um, and it just sort of progressed as an evolution. The idea of the two-tone colors, you use yellow and green, but I didn't see any superheroes out there that had uh, a family or a daughter or anything. I sort of thought that was a unique angle. I came for my daughter. I started um, dabbling with Flash at the, uh, at the prompting of some friends and realized that, wow, this, is, this could be like a cartoon program. <laughs> Well, it all starts with the script. Actually, it starts with an idea, right? That's so cliche, isn't it? I write up a, an outline and then a script ultimately. Um, and then the work really begins because then we have to create all of the assets, all the individual assets, the hands, the various um, angles of the hands, the arms, the body, everything needs to be built. So I go through and I map that out. I draw digitally now using a Wacom tablet and uh, but it all starts with pen and paper or pencil and paper. I take a photo of that, scan it into Flash. I've been using my, my phone now. I take the picture, shoot it to my email, and then import it. And I'm just able to go through with the Wacom tablet, blue line it, then ink it up, and then color it and create that asset. So that process is a lot faster than what I used to do. From there, I set up the animatics, uh, pretty much staging the scene, um, send out the lines to the voiceover actors, when they come back, we, uh, I edit them uh, and while building the animatics. From there, we begin doing the actual animation. And then, um, then we start with the mouth syncing for the voices. Then we put in the sound effects. Then we put in the music. And then the post-production, then the release. And you know this how? Common knowledge, detective. So there's a lot of work that goes, obviously, into one three-minute episode. When simply it's me and then a couple other people, but traditionally all the other stuff was pretty much all me, except for, of course, the voice actors and Science Friction who does the music. I mean, it, it's pretty intense. The time has come to end this wickedness. Stay true and um, always go indie. If you're going to do it, do it yourself. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't re don't wait for the big deal, you know. It's the, that big deal may or may not exist, and it all depends what it is. But do it and put it out there and distribute it and just love it because I think if you love it, other people, other people will.